Hello everyone, I'm Devarshika Nigam and today we are diving into an essential aspect of ISO 22000 prerequisite programs, PRPs and operational prerequisite programs, OPRPs. These are foundational elements that set the stage for effective food safety management. Let's explore their significance and how they contribute to our robust food safety management system. Overview of prerequisite programs. At the heart of ISO 22000 are prerequisite programs or PRPs. These are the basic conditions and activities necessary to maintain a hygienic environment throughout the food chain. PRPs are the foundation upon which the food safety management system is built. Types of PRPs. There are various types of PRPs including but not limited to personal hygiene, practices to ensure the health and cleanliness of personnel, sanitation and hygiene of premises, maintaining cleanliness in facilities where food is handled, pest control strategies to prevent and control pests that could compromise food safety, supplier control, ensuring that suppliers meet necessary food safety standards. Importance of PRPs The implementation of PRPs is crucial because they create the foundation for effective food safety management. By addressing basic hygiene and environmental conditions, organizations can minimize the risk of contamination and create a safe starting point for the entire food production process. Operational Prerequisite Programs Now, let's zoom in on Operational Prerequisite Programs or OPRPs. While PRPs are more general in nature, OPRPs are specific control measures that are critical to preventing or eliminating food safety hazards at the operational level. Some examples of OPRPs include Temperature control Ensuring proper storage and handling temperatures to prevent microbial growth Cleaning and sanitizing procedures Implementing effective cleaning and sanitizing practices to eliminate pathogens Allergen management Controlling and managing allergens to prevent cross-contamination Supplier approval and control Ensuring that suppliers meet specific food safety criteria Integration with HACCP It's important to note that OPRPs are closely linked with the Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points HACCP principles while OPRPs focus on operational controls, HACCP identifies critical control points in the process to prevent, eliminate, or reduce hazards to acceptable levels. Documentation and Implementation Effective documentation and implementation of PRPs and OPRPs are essential. Organizations should establish clear procedures, monitor their effectiveness, and make adjustments as needed. This proactive approach contributes to the overall success of the food safety management system. Verification and validation. Verification and validation play a significant role in ensuring that PRPs and OPRPs are effective. Regular monitoring, testing and review of these programs are critical to maintaining a high level of confidence in the food safety measures implemented. In conclusion, PRPs and OPRPs are fundamental elements in ISO 22000, providing a solid foundation for effective food safety management. By addressing basic conditions and implementing specific control measures, organizations can build a robust system that ensures the safety of the food they produce. Thank you for your attention and I encourage you to integrate these principles into your food safety practices. If you have found value in our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your professional colleagues. Thank you.